still have a freeze warning for this morning, but not quite as cold as we were this time yesterday. This is the view from our Grandview Medical Center camera. We're looking over 280. Later today, we end up warmer than where we were yesterday. I'm forecasting a range of highs anywhere from the lower to the middle 60s. Partly sunny sky. We are dry today, and we are going to be warmer by about 10 degrees. So another noticeable warm up by the afternoon. Into the evening hours, we don't cool as quickly. We are not anticipating any kind of uh, widespread freeze or anything like that this evening. Check it out. Temperatures are actually still near 60 degrees at 6 p.m. 8 o'clock, we're in the mid 50s. Low 50s by 10 p.m. Most locations will see lows in the 40s early tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, we'll see a high in the 70s, followed by 80s for Thursday and Friday. Front moves through. It's going to bring us the possibility of a few strong storms Friday night into Saturday. But behind that front, we don't really see all that much in a way of a cool down. Temperatures do look to hold in the 70s for the weekend. Tomorrow, there is a small chance we see an isolated shower across the northern quarter of the state. Not a washout by any means, and a lot of folks will stay dry. Uh, just a small passing shower possible tomorrow. Then we look at our next weather maker on Friday. That will bring the possibility of widespread rain and thunder, and a few strong storms do appear possible. Main threats look to be damaging straight line winds. Can't completely rule out a few isolated tornado warnings, so it's important you are weather aware Friday night and you've got a way to get warnings just in case they're needed. This is the day four outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. And as you'll see here, it does include parts of west and northwest Alabama. Timing looks to be more of an overnight threat from Friday into early on Saturday. So let's break it down here in the future view. Starting Friday morning, clouds are building in. By the afternoon, we're still mainly dry and very warm. We will reach into the low 80s before that rain coverage picks up after about dinner time. That line of storms is slowly moving across the state during the overnight hours and then eventually exiting early on Saturday. And then the rest of the weekend does appear to be dry and mild with highs in the 70s, followed by a chance of rain into early next week. But between now and Friday, we are enjoying this warm up. You will notice that it just feels good outside today. Also tomorrow, when we start to see those highs in the 70s, some folks are even going to start to feel hot by the time we have highs in the 80s on both Thursday and Friday. But remember, our focus is going to be that next weather maker Friday night into early on Saturday. Be sure you're checking back on the forecast between now and then for the latest details.